So we're just driving out for breakfast and right there is a moose eating something from the bush. There you go, he's starting to walk now. Big fella, he's running away. So we have just arrived at Norway's second largest glacier. It's called Sabatisen. Don't know if that's right, but you can just see it there in the distance. You can get a ferry across uh, the fjord um, and then hike to the glacier, but the weather is pretty miserable today and the rain keeps coming over. So we don't know if we will go and hopefully when we get to the largest glacier, the weather will be better for us, but it's pretty incredible. What are you doing? Just passing the Arctic Circle. So we're coming out of it? Yep, first time in six months. Just the marking is just there, little globe symbol. So today has basically just been a travel day. We've caught ferries and driven down the Helgeland coast, I think it's called. And tonight we are going to the marble castle outside Moi Rana and it's called like Mama's Lotta or something like that. Um, and it's meant to be beautiful. So we are off dodging the rain. Hopefully it stays clear because the path is looking very muddy. very much Island hopping and hiking and fun adventures we had today. Wow, the sun has just come out finally after days of rain and wind. We have just gotten the car ferry from San Yosin to Haroi and Duna. So we're on islands again. And the water looks beautiful. So we have just arrived at Heidi's Chocolate Room. So I think it's called, like in English it would be Heidi's Chocolate Room. And it is the world's smallest chocolate factory. So we're going to have a look. They definitely weren't lying when they said Heidi's was the world's smallest chocolate room because it is literally tiny and more like a cafe um, where you can have some of the homemade chocolate or buy a bar but yeah very small. What did you think of Heidi's chocolate room? Very shit. Very expensive and no one for Lumpers making chocolate waste of time. <laughs> Lucky hoped recommend. for tiny chocolates and tiny people making them. Well, it's the world's smallest chocolate factory and it's quite large for the world's smallest. I think there's bound to be smaller. But there, 
was only a small amount of chocolate, I think is where they were going, so they don't make much. Come on. Get some tiny humans, some midgets in there making some chocolate. Give me something for the price, go on. <laughs> Give me an experience, not just a product. But we can add it to the list. We've been to the world's smallest chocolate factory, so. Yeah. It's no Willy Wonka, but. Definitely not. It was something. That's why he's the best. Uh, no overlooked, no good chocolate. What about Freya? Yeah, they got a Oh, see. So we are now going to Essetria or something like that. I don't know <laughs> what, what it, how to pronounce it. But basically it's a little, I don't think it's a nursery. I think it's like a florist place run by a famous uh, award-winning Norwegian florist. flower. They call it, no, but they don't say florist. They say flower decorator. And apparently it's like three stories of all these famous artworks and it's shown on TV shows and yeah. So we're going to see what it's all about. We're going to see flowers. <laughs> we are getting old. <laughs> So what are flowers looking? So if you can see there is a mountain range in the distance that I just showed you before covered by fog. One of the main reasons we came to Duna today in Hurui was so that we could see the Seven Sisters mountain range from afar, get a photo with all Seven Sisters in since we can't hike it because of the crappy weather. And all day they have been covered in fog. So we've been trying to be patient and wait, but I don't think it's gonna happen. But it's like an old Norwegian tale of how the Seven Sisters happen and basically they got frozen in place um, after running running from uh, i don't know i can't remember the full story but <laughs> they basically are there because they were running after a maiden was being chased um, and they were following her and they were mischievous and not well behaved and then the sun came out and everyone froze to stone and there's another hike and mountain range down a bit further in Br Bunisund, Bunisund or something like that <laughs> and it's called the Torgatha hike I think and it's Torgatha mountain and basically someone shot an arrow at uh, the one that was chasing the maiden on his horse and it went straight through the mountain or through his hat or something and then when it froze to stone everyone froze in place so the mountain has a big hole from the arrow which is supposedly meant to be I think his hat that's my version of the story anyway <laughs> you anything to say no I'm busy studying the map of North oh, I'm studying Can you take the camera off, <laughs> Back to the mainland we go. Didn't do it this morning. So we are at Paul Vic and it is a 300 year old trading post that is now a coffee industry. So we are trying out one of their coffee beans. So 
this afternoon we have arrived in Brunisund and we are doing the tall gada hike this afternoon and hoping the rain still stays away. This is the famous one that is linked to the tale um, that I told the other day about the Seven Sisters where the arrow went straight through the mountain or the hack. We're just up there in that little hole. So we're just uh, taking the Torg Hatten Runde. So I think it's like a round route. You can walk the whole way around the mountain uh, to get a view of the hole from the front in the cave. This morning we have woken up on the island of Vega. And we are about to climb the Vega Strappa, which is the stairs, all the way to the top and hopefully get a good view of the surrounding islands. But it is pretty cloudy, so we'll just have to see. Lucky? Okay, good chat. So the stairs that we're going up are just through there. So we're going up there somewhere. This is what we're doing. You can see Tommy just parked down there. like people live on the islands and we we're just reading on the sign down there that one of the islands just out to sea that you could see before the weather gets so severe there that um, sometimes in a storm the whole island actually rocks <laughs> After traveling all afternoon, we have finally made it to Sunshine to barbecue for the night. Yay! Yeah. So we have driven most of the day today and we have made it to Christian Sun late this afternoon at about five o'clock so we're just parked on the outside the city and we are walking in to check it out and it is a sunny 24 degrees and it is lovely <laughs> Another day, another ferry. Yep. Some big traffic today. Yeah, it's pretty long. We are parked up near Madu Fossen waterfall. 
We were going to go there this afternoon, but the weather's so nice and we've been driving so much that we're just enjoying some sunshine this afternoon instead. And do the hike tomorrow morning. Anything to say? Never have anything to say anymore. Just chilling, killing. I feel like a villain. Okay. Are you going swimming or not? Swimming? Yes, yeah, so you can see that. Get under the water. Okay. You've got the best view to swim to. Okay, <laughs> We're swimming in the water and it is really cold. It must be, what do you reckon? Well. In the sea water. Nah, it's not colder than the sea water. I can see that. It's from a glacier. <sighs> the water is crystal clear. Best way to start the day. The sun is out again and we are excited. It's going to get to 28 here today, so it's going to be hot. So this morning we are off hiking to Madafotu uh, waterfall. Um, and it is Northern Europe's largest waterfall. So it's meant to look pretty spectacular. Um, so we'll see. So we just went for a swim and it was the same field that we were in last night just further around closer to the waterfall and it's the first time in Norway we've actually stayed in and swam around, it was so nice. So yeah, winning at life today. going on? I'm just trying to catch some dinner before we starve to death. <laughs> <laughs> so we've gotten to Ulusund this afternoon and we drove into town we had to get water and empty the toilet and it is chaos in there at any of the motorhome parks or camper van parks so I've driven out of the city a bit and found a beautiful spot across from the harbour we've got it all to ourselves and it is lovely this morning we are in Alessund and we are exploring the city today and we are at the Axla something like that viewpoint at the moment and it gives you a view over the whole city so. Looks like a pretty cool city to explore. 